Major, what chance do you think the 52s have against the newer 111? Oh, a real fine chance. I think we're going to win it all. Well, aren't you at an automatic disadvantage because of the newer instrumentation? Yeah, but we're going to make up with that with just talent. Do you think you have more talent than the 111 crews? Yes, I sure do. If it comes to a choice between the 111s and saving their reputation and the winning for the B-52s, uh, what are you going to suggest? I suggest we win it all. In other words, cars will take home the trophy. You betcha. We'll let them have second. Captain, your position is vital on the crew. Uh, how do you feel about the chances of the B-52? Oh, we've got a good chance. Even against the British Vulcan? Oh, yeah. We beat them all the time. You think you're going to beat them this time? Got to. The Indian community themselves is, is to, for social and uh, uh, educational and recreational purposes, for Indian people to get together and reinforce themselves, knowing that there are other pe Indian people in the community, and trying to work to their to a specific problem, whether it be employment, housing, health, or whatever. It's kind of a, an ethnic war on poverty? or Yes, it really is, and we found that, uh, uh, that there is a sense of strength and getting together and solving the problems. Um, uh, being an Indian and getting together, same as the Mexican-American people, uh, find strength in getting together and working toward the problems because the language is different and customs are different and getting together kind of helps reinforce uh, your strength. And that's the reason that centers have been, most, you know, have been cropping up in most uh, urban communities. And this is why uh, we're particularly in Nervous Indian Opportunity supporting this center. Well, we, <coughs> we would seek through uh, local sources of information to uh, develop the facts, and uh, I would ask uh, our regional director, Mr. Charles Green, who is seated on my immediate left, to uh, assemble the information from whatever sources he believes uh, to be most knowledgeable. If this were the case, what would be your reaction? Well, I think uh, it'll be, I, I really don't think it's appropriate or desirable to try to anticipate what conclusion I might reach on hypothetical facts. What are some of the possible conclusions? I could only say that they, they range from uh, the determination that a, the group in issue is uh, not appropriately constituted to carry out the program to uh, possible steps that might uh, affect who was in charge and so on. But uh, I don't think that generalizations in this kind of situation are uh, particularly useful. Here we have the richest company in the United States at a time which the greatest national problem is inflation requesting what I consider an extremely inflationary rate increase in all of the cities that they serve in the state of Texas and keep in mind that they make more money here than in any other state in the United States. This last year, for the first time, Oklahoma got ahead of them. 
that they make 8.9% return according to the Federal Communications Commission here in Texas, and a great deal of that money is made in Dallas, and I cannot believe they can make 8.9% in this state and only make 5% here in Dallas. I think the figures are wrong. I think they're 100% wrong. Has Ray Crowder, the current contractor, fulfilled his requirements according to the original contract? I think it's fair to say he has, and the action uh, taken by the council on the committee's recommendation is in no manner of means an indictment of the Ray Crowder service. Uh, in my judgment, Ray Crowder has complied with the ordinance as it uh, was written. He's complied with a uh, contract uh, as it was written, and the bid uh, specifications as they were written uh, generally and uh, so then our changes today are not a reflection on Ray Crowder it's simply a reflection of uh, our recognition in the municipal government of the city of Fort Worth that we uh, want to and need to raise the level of emergency uh, medical service delivered to the acutely ill or injured. Is the Indian's future better in developing his own culture rather than assimilating into the white community? Well, that's been the policy of the federal government, and it hasn't worked. Uh, you know, we're still we're larger in numbers than, than we were, you know, 10, 20, 50 years ago, and that we have not been assimilated. And so because that hasn't worked, it means that uh, there is strength in being an Indian, and that uh, taking pride on that, being, you know, I, knowing what, who you are really helps you to do what you want to do. And if an Indian person wants to be a, an astronaut or a businessman or whatever, and that he can still keep his language and know his customs of, uh, of history of the past and still be um, be an active member of the community. And I think that both is possible. One thing I, I think people don't realize is that actually here in Dallas we have a larger crime rate than is really known by the people. Uh, for example, in, in shoplifting, last year alone, $59 million in the Dallas County. And in just the city of Dallas alone, it was uh, $39 million. What does that uh, add up to per family? <laughs> well, believe it or not, it's $123 a year. What does the Committee on Citizens Who Care plan to do about this problem? Well, of course, the primary thing is to get into the various areas of the churches, the schools, and then, of course, have the media really give us some assistance in public service work, such as billboards, radio, television, and so forth. The prime offenders of this multi-million dollar heist are the housewife, the teenage girl, the older woman, the teenage boy, in that order. 
The problem is that people don't seem to realize that shoplifting is a crime. In fact, it carries all the penalties of a crime. Two years for a thousand dollar fine for a first offense, up to 10 years for a theft over $50. Plus the fact that the store losses are passed along to the consumer in the form of higher prices. This is Judy Hanna reporting Channel 8 News. You're wanting the entire rebel team reinstated, is that correct? Uh, uh, sir, it's not a question of reinstating it. it uh, it's a question, it is our theme, and we're trying to preserve it. The, the students have voted three times to keep our rebel theme. It's been under attack by uh, some groups, but we voted three times to keep it. So it's not a question of, uh, of in reinstating it, it's a question of keeping it. Why do you think Dean Crary is opposed to your organization? Well, I think, uh, well, first of all, Dean Crary has been associated with... Uh, with uh, various uh, radical black militant groups on campus. She's not a member, of course, she's a, but she's been an uh, 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 ardent supporter uh, of the black militant groups, and she's been speaking to black militant groups. customer who wants telephone service has every right to expect to get that service. We can't delay and wait, and we can't call a halt to higher costs by waiting until the buy market improves. We've got to keep moving, we've got to keep building, but we must have rates in the meantime that will allow us and you to meet the needs of Dallas. We are willing to settle for an increase of $6.2 million, that's $2.7 million below our original request, which we feel is entirely needed and warranted. Yet we are willing to make this settlement to try and conclude this case, which has been going on so long. The rates I mentioned earlier will produce an increase of $6.2 million, or an overall increase of 7.4%. What is the specific purpose for this organization in Dallas? In Dallas, to, to, um, in our findings throughout the country, we found most urban Indians um, trying to find their way in the city. They come from rural uh, communities or reservations, and they...
Well, I think it <coughs> certainly means that it's a failure by the standard. Have we ended poverty in America? There's no question about that. Various things have been done that, that have accomplished some good. I think the Head Start program was one byproduct of the war on poverty that has accomplished very positive results. I think the community action programs have helped to uh, bring groups together in parts of our inner cities where they have participated on a broader basis in coping with the problems of the inner city. And of course, you never know how bad things would have been if we hadn't tried to, to do something about the identifiable deficiencies and needs. business and yet you you only ask for uh, the smallest amount of income What we have done is to make, as a requirement for ambulance attendance, a 72-hour training course, uh, which will be uh, 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 handled by the Tarrant County Junior College uh, beginning the 1st of January 1971. As a part of this 72-hour training course will be a course in cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Uh, which is a very critical uh, area we feel uh, for uh, ambulance attendants to be proficient in. Uh, the other area uh, that uh, the ordinance revisions uh, uh, require is in the area of response time.